Shepard and Bellis will be joining us at some point, as well as Scott from the Believers Underground next on the show, Earth Changes, and so much more. Scott Fudge coming up in just a moment. I always love hearing from my buddy Scott. This is the Bob Tuscan Show on Oracle Broadcast. Funding both sides of major wars. This is the only supplier that I trust. Please visit us at hempusa. Uh, he's the executive director. Scott from the Believers Underground now joining us on the Bob Tuscan Show. Scott, what's up with the post glacier rebound, man? Well, I've been talking with the nuclear safety people today, the, you know, because I have a lot of people concerned about the nuclear power plants, you know, and, and I'm diving into that right now. And, and uh, the head of the NRC, Gregory Josto, uh, he's, he's stationed over there in uh, Rockville, Maryland. And the other guy, Bill Belichard, uh, he's the executive director for operations. Now, according to them, there's 104 plants, nuclear reactors here in the United States. And and I wanted to get the, the lowdown on, on what we're looking at with, with, with all their capacities, okay? Um, keep, uh, and for all my, uh, all the people of the Believers Underground, man, just keep calling USGS, keep telling them about post glacier rebound back, keep referring them over to the site, you know, it, it, so, so they, you know, just until they throw up on it, you know. Now, I'll, I'll just keep doing. I got like 200 snipers hitting me right now, and and, and then I got a friend that they got blocked for some reason, or whatever. I don't know what the heck it is. Their mindset up. They don't want to be friends anymore, and that's that that hurts. Okay. And then I have another person that, uh, you know, they just just let it go for a while. Anyway. Out of those 104 reactors, 87 of them are only have battery backup for four hours. That's it. Of the 104 reactors, only 14 of them have a battery backup for eight hours. And only three of the 104 reactors have a battery backup for 16 hours. Now, the United States is supposed to be the leading in the, you know, the backups and protocols. So if it's that dismal here, it's worse in other countries, no, without a doubt, okay? Now, there is no way that you just had Virginia have the nuclear reactor go down from storm. You just had one in Delaware go down two days ago. Storms, okay, you're going to get more and more killer storms. NASA officially released the other day that the 2030 report has been revised down to the 2020 report. So it's going to start getting ugly fast. Okay, everything under the 40th parallel is is second world. Okay, it's only going to get worse from here for, the, for you guys, man. You're going to have to seriously consider thinking about what you're going to do. You know, you had another airplane go down with over 200-something passengers from Brazil to Paris. You know, you're, you're getting more upper atmosphere disruption and space quakes. Uh, they reported that uh, over a foot of new water is going into the oceans this year. It's melting that fast. It, and you got another 40% hole in your ozone because of Fukushima. Man, these things burn super hot. Hey, and they're, Scott? They're, it, it's a nightmare. So that yeah. all being said, where do we go? Well, according to them, it, it looks like everybody's moving north. Okay, that's why all the new infrastructure is being built up in Canada. Uh, the the real surprise player is going to be Greenland. It, it's a continent that's almost the size of the United States. It's basically pretty much empty, and it's going to be fertile fields. So there's a huge place that we we're they're going to you know access and and make viable. You know, it, you, you just got to roll with the changes on this thing. But with the nuclear stuff, and they are really hard-headed man they, they they're they're really entrenched 
you know, about, well, the people need that power, you know. And so they, this is like pulling teeth. Uh, and they're really entrenched on it. Uh, the only hope I see on that end is with the CERN. It's a race for the tape. Now that they found this God particle on, on steroids, uh, or the Higgs bosom, beyond the Higgs bosom, they stated, over there at uh, the Hedron Collider, uh, it was Tuesday of this week it was released. Then, you know, this is a super energy force, okay? They're, they're going to go into plasma, uh, in laser, you know, for their delivery systems, you know, and, and like I, I told my my people that are on my site, you know, if, if, you know, they they need a certain element to make it work. Now, the reason why I don't give out some of the information that I have because I I just want to give it out to people that have love in them, man. You know, uh, I mean, if if I put all my hours and research and years of doing this and in, and in, in the pennies that I've received. I wouldn't even have a paycheck adding up to one cent an hour. So, you know, I I just won't handle the, the, the abuse and stuff. Forget it. You know, it's, and if you don't think that's love, then, then guess again, man. I, I'm busting my butt for you guys, man. You know, whoever comes, who comes. Whoever doesn't, doesn't. You know, it's, it's a sleepy world out there. It's the third generation of an incorporation, and, you know, there's a lot of pain and suffering. And, and not too much healing, and, and not. And I want to talk about healing a little bit. You know, back let's, in the, so, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, let's talk about healing because we can sit here and talk about all the pain, but I, I think it's it's good that we do talk about healing. Go ahead. Yeah, because there's there's going to be a spiritual revolution too. You know, uh, wherever there's great tragedies, there's there's great renewal. You know, uh, something dies, something's born, and and. I, I'm going to go back to my own personal experience, strength and hope. You know, because it's one thing to read something in a book. It's another thing to experience it firsthand and have to go through it. You know, so I can talk about it because I have lived it. All right. Back in September of 1988, when my daughter was killed in front of my face, and I saw her eyes dilate in my eyes, okay, I understood what powerlessness was on the highest level, okay, and, and, you know, at, at that point, you know, I was broken beyond measure. I couldn't, you know, it was a, about a couple of weeks later, I, I had my first experience with the Comforter. Now, the gifts of God are without repentance, man. I have them. That's that, you know. The thing was, was I was wondering, why was society the way it was? Why could a drunk driver just drive, hit a child, you know, that that's just, you know, in the street with all the other kids, you know, drunk, going 70 miles an hour or whatever. And, and, you know, and you're just like, you're, you're 10 feet from them and you couldn't get there fast enough, you know? And, and, and it's like, and you go, man, I felt as a dad, you know, I'm supposed to protect her, you know, and all these things race through your head. And, and, and then, you know, after years, you know, I, I, I left Los Angeles, left everything. I didn't give a, I didn't care about any of it, you know, I just left. And, you know, I, I had to take a real good long look at me, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I did, you know, and I repented an honest, sincere repentance. That's tough, yet, Scott. The veil, the veil was ripped, and I heard from above. Hey, Scott. Now, yeah, go ahead. I, I don't mean to interrupt this, this sensitive topic here, but we're coming up to a break, buddy. And Okay. Don't worry, buddy. We're, we're with you here, all right, man? I, I know it gets tough, and you've been getting a lot of slack recently, but uh, it's about information, and information shock resistance, as Scott puts it, uh, is his number one goal. Uh, this is the Bob Tuscan Show, broadcasting around the world, and we'll be back in just a moment with more. Our website, bobtuscan.com, that's the U-S-K-I-N. And thank you. Keep your purchases through Amazon. Like, you watch a short video. Learn about our food like Check out the archives at BobTuskin.com. That's T U S K I N. And we're happy to see you at the chat. Thank you to all who participate in the chat nightly. And in just a little bit, we'll have the raffle at the very end of tonight's show. But uh, first, next half uh, of this hour, we'll have 
uh, none other than the great folks from an interesting campaign in which they were very outspoken about the Israeli oppression. As you know, I come from a Jewish family and, and am the first person to speak out about the crimes against humanity taking place with the Zionist agenda. And of course, uh, they made uh, the headlines when their sign was taken down from the billboards in the, the Northwest. So we'll talk with, with some of the great folks from that organization in just a little bit, and we'll tell you more. Uh, but let's finish things off with Scott, because Scott's got some serious stuff to, to tell us in this next segment. Um, Scott, you with us, buddy? Yeah, you bet. Uh, and I just want to okay. tell you, Scott, before we get into this, that yeah. I, lo I love you, man. I love you too, man. All right. Hey, man. The, I'm going to address three things of a subconscious level order, okay? First, if you're a person out there and you feel alone, even when you're surrounded by people, okay, it's a pathological character attitude of neglect or deprivation. The way that takes place, especially in this time in history, because of your your you being oppressed, the the monies have crowded in the public sector, uh, they, they've manipulated the job market at will. They put strain and stress on the family that is unbelievable as they take your car away through their CO2 con. Okay, and, and that stuff is ridiculous. And they hide behind this idol of incorporation. Okay, now this thing, this subconscious character attitude was, was formed in your first five years of life. And what happens is, is either you have one parent or both parents gone from the house. Uh, either because they, they had to become a workaholic and work all the time to pay the bills, or they both had to work, or through a divorce or a death. So it was something you could never really put your thumb on. You, you knew there was a problem. You, you felt alone all the time, even when you were in major groups of people, and you could never put your thumb on it. It's because it was an absence of something that you should have had that you didn't. So that was a tough one to figure out. That's why I'm just going to give it to you. Why pay 50 grand for a stupid shrink when, when you can have the answers right here for free? Okay. The, the second thing, okay, punitiveness. Okay. If you were whipped as a kid or thrown in the closet and, and treated crappily, now, it, especially for those war children, you know, I look at those children that are in the middle of these battles getting slaughtered like garbage. I've seen parents having to sell their children to, so they can feed their other children. You know, and, and I, I see this heartache and terror and, 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 and sadness, and, and then I see trolls on YouTube thinking that they're all that in a bag of chips and a trying to dinner. It's pathetic. Stop it. Now, you know, they got their CIA, FBI garbage that they're doing on YouTube, and it's ridiculous, especially for anybody who's really speaking out. Now, this punitiveness, okay, that these children are being enveloped in, you're seeing it explode over there in the Middle East right now. And, you know, it's starting to creep over into the United States, too, man. You see all these gangs and everything. Man, their parents are smacking the daylights out of them because they're frustrated. They're upset with the system. They're angry, and they vent on their children, and, and they hurt them. And, and they hurt them psychologically because it's a subconscious thing. These kids don't even know why. They're just upset and mad and angry and just wanting to strike out on any term, okay? Even if it means going to jail or even their own death. They don't care. It, it, it's such a... And, you know, and you're just like, wow, you know, and, and you have all these social workers and everything, man, it's a joke, man. All right, the third thing, which is very important, is over-coercion. You know, you can go into any Tories or us, just stand there and 